Hello everyone, Arun Van Gopal of WNYC here. It's my pleasure to introduce the Center for Traditional Music and Dances series, Beat of the Burroughs, NYC Online. This online series features over 50 of New York's leading traditional instrumentalists, dancers, singers, poets, and more. From Mongolia to Haiti, Colombia to the Gambia, among many others, they remind us how the strength of our country lies in its embrace of diversity and immigration. We want to celebrate these remarkable members of the New York community in these challenging times. So please enjoy these 50 programs, share them with your friends, and spread the word. Enjoy the show. My name is Buhari Naibi, a.k.a. Baba Allah. Hello, happy people. My name is Ola Kute. On your short here, I am Al Hassan Yawuza. African music and dance, let me say African cultural heritage and uh, art evangelist. Um, today you're going to see a dance called Bamaya. Bamaya is a, is a, a grabber, spiritual grabber, emotional grabber, and physical grabber. The rhythm is in the sense that when you strike and you don't move, my brother, you must go and see your, your primary doctor. And even though your physician cannot solve the problem, so get ready and let's do Bamaya together. Bamaya dance, a brief history of Bamaya dance, or if you like a background. Bamaya is from the northern part of Ghana. And Bamaya comes about when there was a drought, a very challenging situation where animals, you know, farms, and then people were dying because of the drought. You know, if especially if you say water is life. And if that is true, you can imagine what would have happened to the great people of Biawa, the great people of Dagon. That's where that's the kingdom of uh, uh, of the people who created Bamaya. So they didn't know what to do. They had to go and consult the ghost. So the fetish, the, let me say, the priest in the area of Saden mobilized some uh, people, some important people in the area from the chief palace to, go, to accompany him to the shrine. They went and did their consultations. And the, and the response they got was they had to go and perform some rituals. And upon performing these rituals, they have to dress like women. The men has to dress like women. In actual sense, uh, some people said they were even women. So which we believe too. Because you know, sometimes you have a diverse history. But this, we all agree it was the women, you know, based on the facts. So the women came using their 
their scalps to tie their hair and dress, carry the items for the for the uh, rituals, and the two align to the to the shrine where they were going to perform these activities in order to please the gods of the land and the Almighty for them to have a, a rainfall. So they went and did all these things. And since it was a, a, a national concern, or since it was all concern, a lot of people wanted to know what is going on. So everybody came around and they accompanied it. So in this case, what do we mean? We have a lot of uh, witnesses, you know, who could, you know, keep the history without get it getting missed. So when they went to perform the rituals, they did not even come out from the, from the, go, from the shrine. Just on their way, then it started raining. The rain started coming. So, which, who, which means their prayers was fully answered. So on their way back to their town, to the city, to their village uh, community, because normally the shrines are outs outside the village, either the entering or the exiting, because they are exiting the, the village. So on their way coming out from the shrine, they did not even approach the village, and the rain started falling, which was a very significant, uh, uh, a very significant sign that the prayers were answered. And the rain was heavy in such a way that they could not walk normal. They were slippery, you know, they were slippery, they have to adjust themselves in order to, you know, find their ways without hurting themselves or without falling. Some were falling in actual sense. So they managed to get home. And they started celebrating. So the dance actually started when, they, when their prayers and God answered. They started singing on the way, you know, falling and then getting up. <laughs> we, uh, artistically, we call it falling and recovering. So when they fall, they get up, they recover, they fall, they recover, and they keep on moving just to, to, to approach home and send the message to the king. So this was how it happened till they go to the chief's palace. So the movement from the, from the shrine to the chief's palace to, to send a message that they, they perform the rituals and chief can even see the signs that their prayer has been answered. That was the movement from the place to the from the shrine to the to the chief's palace. There was a valley. So when they got home, they told the, the, the king that Bamaya, it means the valley is wet. Or the valley is cold. That's the direct translation. Maya means cold. Ba means the valley, and they tell the chief this. Uh, the reason why they, they said chief Bamaya, Bamaya, because they want to tell him it's like um, it's like um, the, the the mature language that we call. Some people call it like um, the, the, there's a word in English that they call it. Um, like a direct translation will, 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 will just be like the, the, the valley is cold, but they will not come and tell the chief that it's raining. They will not tell the chief that it's raining. They use imagery. Then they come and tell the chief the bar is cold, the valley is cold. Instead of telling the chief that the rain is raining, that is not the chief tense language. They have a language they speak. They don't come, they don't speak ordinary like the way we speak. They use proverbs, 
sometimes you, 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 you see them using some, most of the literary devices, like the imagery, you know, you will not come and say that chief is raining, because it's raining, everybody knows that it's raining, and chief can see that it's raining, right? So he will come and use the chief tense language to, uh, to, you know, elaborate this to the king, which is a sign of what? Maturity in the chief um, administration or in the chief uh, covenant. So this is the language they use. So he come and just said, the valley chief, the, your, your highness, the valley is cold. So which was translated artistically that the Bamaya, the valley is cold. So Bamaya name is Pit. From that literary device, from that literary device, the, the linguist or the messenger brought to the king. That was, that was where Bamaya name was driven from. So it's very important to remember this, the valley is cold because that one is the artistic word. That, 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 that means a lot to us. Because if you talk about Bamaya and you don't explain this to us, it means you are, you are talking about something else because the imagery is very important here. Because this is the language that we all, our, our elder people taught us to speak when you go to the chief palace. You cannot go and speak like an ordinary person. Or the language or the tone you use outside, it, uh, you, or on the street, or even in the community, when you step into the chief palace, as a, as a groomed, as a groomed traditional person, that will, you have to, you will change the language, and that will let them, especially if you are coming from a royal area, a royal tradition, or a royal family, it is necessary for you. And mostly, most of the people are from royal family. But even though it's not the same level, because in the community, there are so many responsibilities. And in our place, where, where Bamaya comes from, there are so many responsibilities that the kings had their, their constitution which was even adopted by other tribes in Ghana or in, even in Africa because they, they, they had a, con a constitution that gave opportunity and that have a lot of branches that has like heads, heads of, you know, like heads of blacksmith. They, so then they will say chief of blacksmith. Head of dramas, they call the chief dramas, chief drama. Head of the the uh, of the masons, then they call chief mason. So our our constitution, our traditional constitution, give rooms to this. So they expect you, if you are coming from the butcher butcher chief house. So it means that you are a royal uh, chief of but uh, royal member of the of the butcher's family, right? So you are expected to know the tradition. So when you step in the king's palace, you have a place that you sit. Every, every head or every sub-chief, we call that sub-chief, have their heads and their seats, where they sit at the chief palace. So no one cross to sit on another person's place. So, and all of them contribute, and then all these bodies, bodies come together to make the, the chief's cabinet. So when you enter there, we expect you to speak the same language. Because if you don't speak the same language, you can be there and they, and they have very important conversation. till the end, from beginning to end, that you will never understand anything. We call it the mature language. Therefore, the mature language is what the messengers brought from the shrine to the king's palace. To the chief and the king, and they told him that, chief, our prayers has answered. Bamaya. It means the valley is cold. Instead of saying that, 
the rain has fallen. Has fallen. We have abundant rain now. No, don't speak like that. He said the Bahamaya. The valley is cold. So then they collected water, everybody was happy, then they started dancing the movement that they were doing. They they you know observe it and everybody come one one after the other and they demonstrated they demo, demonstrated it. Then later they said no. Since this was a historic, a historic event, we have to keep it. What can we do? Then they started gathering the movement. So Bamaya has a sequence variations. It is arranged sequentially. Unlike Jira, Jira is not arranged, but Bamaya is well arranged. So they, because they take their time to put it together. Like today, if you look at coronavirus, the way people are dying, you know, can you imagine some of the events that okay now? Everybody has attention in it, and they would like to, to give memory to, the, to some of the rescues and some of the events that you have to, like finding their vaccines, when the vaccine was found, found and the process how they find the, found the, the vaccines. So this was how we, we found the water, you know, in the process to get the water and how the whole thing happened. So it's something that cannot be forgotten. So they take their time to put all this process together. The, the songs, the movement, before and after the success, they take their time to arrange it from one step to the other, one step to the other, before they, they put Bamaya together with the rhythm and the songs. So this is the background, the synopsis of our Bamaya dance. And in Bamaya too, we have the flute, we have the genders, and we also have the masuga, this one. As I told you, this one, it's a, uh, as I told you that we use the animal, animal, uh, skin a lot. When we eat the meat, we don't throw the skin away. We make good use of it. We use it for art. So the 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 monkeys, the black monkeys, we used to this this one was supposed to be a black monkey uh, skin. Uh -huh. So this is what uh, we use. It's called mansuga. Manga means monkey or the monkey family. Manga, the monkey family is monkey. So, and this is the skin. So when Bamaya was arranged, they rearranged it, they, they realized that the ladies had the flexibility to put the dance together. The ladies has the skills enough to do the, the movement of the experience. So the ladies were more, I mean, like more attractive in the movement than the men. So, so the men decided to just be observers <laughs> because the, the women were so marvelous in the movement, in the songs, you know. So, so the men were just observing, you know, the dance. But as time goes on, and the men said, no, we are not going to sit down and leave the woman to be dancing all the time. What about if my wife get pregnant and give birth? Who is going to dance for me? Who is going to dance for the community? So who is going to cook for us in the house? Because then we didn't know democracy. We have our democracy differently but not like this modern democracy that the man will go and cook when the woman is, you know, busy somewhere. The world was small as at then. So our responsibilities were, were just and then clear. It was obvious that no one, you know, disputed. So men had their responsibility and the women too have their responsibility. So the men said, no, 
our women are doing a lot, especially you know when they are pregnant and we have an event, who is going to perform for us? You know, when they have to do the house chores and there's a time to perform, who is going to perform for us? So it would be nice for we the men to also join them. So they started by teasing them little, dressing like the women. <laughs> they also go and get the skirt. I will take my wife's skirt and wear and find the cotton uh, wood to make my Bamaya skirt uh, belt and then put and then also take my wife's brazier or the, the, the little atta dress and then wear and then you know come out so therefore you will see that the men in Bamaya they dress like the women just because of this activities that happen. So they, are, they, they had a vision, they have to do that, you know? So they took that inspiration very seriously and they jumped on and eventually they took over. Eventually the men took over. So some of us were born to meet Bamaya and we thought it's only the men who, who does Bamaya. But when you go to history, the history will tell you that it was the women who started it because they took the, uh, the, the, the items for the initiation to initiate the, um, that was made for the sacrifice, you know, for the, for the, for the rain to come. They took it to the uh, shrine and on the way when they were falling and getting up. Women have certain strength that men cannot. Some things are just for women. So women have such a strength that men cannot take it from, from them. They are flexibility. They are, they are I mean, resilient, uh, uh, resilience. You know, they are able to resist a lot of stuff. Like me, if I'm hungry and my mother is hungry, my mother will just give the food to me to eat. She will just drink water. So their resilience are, are, are just overwhelming. So they were happy while the men were, 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 were trying not, not, not to broke their legs. Women were, <laughs> women were able to, you know, penetrate. And then, so that was how they took over. But as time goes on, the men too took over and started to give the women the opportunity to also do other, other stuff. Uh -huh. So that was how Bamaya came by, and the costume to see the Mansurga, that's the the um, monkey, monkey's uh, skin, you know. So this is Bamaya. You will see Bamaya shortly. Thank you.
we call it Sochanda. Means the, the traveling movement of Omaya. That's Sochanda. Now we are going to dance, we, we are going to play the rhythm for the actual dance, which they used to name after. It's called the Pamaya rhythm. So you hear rhythm, Gangit Kadanga, Gangit Kadanga, Gangit Kadanga. So the drama speak. This one speaks. This one to respond. I also speak. You just notice it. That I use it to call and they respond. So all the instruments have their functions in every ensemble. Huh. So and you see us bouncing. We are not only bouncing just for the reason. I told you, I saw you all bouncing. If, if, if by my strike you don't move, you might go and see your doctor. So you are free. So go, like, you can't travel without mask. <laughs> okay, so now let's go into Bamaya. variations to you in addition to fruit. Yeah. So now we are going to proceed because of the time factor and then put the dance into it. And let's see what happens. So Esther, introduce us with some solo, for my solo, and then, and then I'll come and we'll do it together. Okay. Okay, so let's go. Come on. 